Segment two, North Tower Neighborhood News Magazine. Dial us up on the web, ntnm.org. Everything's on YouTube, communitypolicingcaps24.org. A lot of faces that make politics work on an annual basis are not, it's a lot more than the candidates. You know, there's people that stay in the game throughout and, um, you know, build campaigns, build candidates, all the rest of it. Um, one, of the, one of the firms that we've had really good relationships over the years is Granger Carey. And one of their top people, it's a pleasure to have me. He's been in the House many times before, but he brought the candidates. <laughs> now we've got him in front of the camera for you, and that's Kevin Bartholomew. Kevin, how are you doing? It's a pleasure. Great, Avi. Thanks for having me. Well, first of all, thank you for coming. And why don't you just tell us a little bit about Granger Terry and what you do over there? Yeah, I, I've been with uh, Granger Terry. Granger Terry is a, um, we're based in the loop, a political consulting public relations firm. And we work with a lot of the... A lot of the local, um, you know, city councilmen, judges, uh, state reps, state senators, um, really the, you know, the whole, the whole thing. We handle everything from, you know, media relations down to helping people collect petitions. So we're a full service political consulting firm. No, that you are. And, um, you know, I've, I've seen you guys because I, some of the campaigns I follow closer than others. And when I know you guys, you know, and, and, and I've had dealings with just about everybody in the, fir in sure. the firm o o over time, uh, sometimes I even see some of the faces pop up in commercials as background. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> you know, you, you, when, when you're trying to, when you're getting messages out, there's a lot of, there's a lot of easy ways to, you know, to, to, to get your message out there. And there's, there's certain ways that work better than others, definitely, so... No, that's true, and uh, no, there's a certain, I, you know, and, and I can't even pin a style, because you guys are pretty good at actually tailoring a certain kind of style to a certain kind of candidate, depending on the need. I, I think so, and I think you have to really, a lot of times, you have to play up a, a candidate's strengths, mm -hmm. and, and that's something that, you know, anyone who's who works in politics or has volunteered or anything, you know, you have to know what you're good at, and you have to get that, you know, that message across, you know, especially here in Chicago. I mean, it's... You can't have a better playground for for politics than here. <laughs> no, that's true. We have some of the finest politics. <laughs> yes, <can> yes. <laughs> for better or worse, yes, that is true. That is definitely true. No, but you guys certainly have made splashes over the course of time. I mean, uh, you know, I think that uh, I, I forgot there was one victory initially. Was there one victory initially that put the firm over the t over the top and got them a lot of publicity, or? Well, we've had a we've had a few. Um, most recently, we were working with a candidate out of the South suburbs, uh, Napoleon Harris. Okay. I don't know if you're familiar with him, he was a former NFL player. Uh, oh who, yeah. Who, who mm -hmm. um, recently just won the nomination uh, down in the South suburbs for the 15th district. Um, so you know, there's definitely there's been a wide range. We've we've you know worked with some some local aldermen. We've worked with. Uh, Alderman Stone in the past That's as right. well, so yeah. that was that was definitely uh, you know someone we we've worked with for some past elections that that really uh, garnered a lot of attention back in the day. Yeah, without wanting to mess you up with any current clients, is there a particular campaign you enjoyed working on more than any other? Or uh, there were def there were definitely a few. Uh, helping most recently with Napoleon, it was great. Um, we've worked with uh, with some. Um, you know, like Scott Cohen in the yeah. past, um, who ran for for lieutenant governor. We've we've worked with, um, you know, some some different local, uh, some aldermen. Um, a lot of them stick out more than others. I think it depends on on what your, uh, you know, what's the most fun and what's going on yeah. at the time. Because being a part of the the discourse, I mean, you know, you can work with a lot of different people. But um, in Chicago, there's you know, all politics is local. And we, we definitely try to, um, you know, work with people that, you know, it's not just what they're, they're actually going to have some change in, in the neighborhoods. I mean, there's, there's countless ways to get your message across. There's countless different um, people who are involved in politics. And you have to be able to, um, you know, to, to get that message out there. And that's what we try to do. So I think you do a pretty good job. Yeah, as a matter of fact, um you know, I think Rich Miller has given you guys an awful lot of credit at times for uh, <laughs> credit. Yeah, credit might be a, a too strong a word. Well, but. let's put it this way: <laughs> even if he disagreed with with the candidate that you might have, sure. The fact of the matter is, he's certainly shown respect for your ability to be able to get people votes. Definitely, I, I think you have to. You know, obviously, with Granger Terry, um, you know, some of our our leadership 
Phil Malfazy, uh, who, who's, Phil's a great who's, guy. Yeah, he he's really he's been through the ringer with some. Oh, and Caitlin, with some, we miss you. I yes, uh, Caitlin. In Michigan. <laughs> Caitlin is is back in Michigan as well, and and we really you know we try to maintain, um, you know, a strategy or a philosophy that, um, like I said before, you just have to get your message across. And we've had people that have had countless experiences with all sorts of candidates. I mean, mm -hmm. there's, you know, from from all across the city. There's no one campaign that I've been a part of that's been identical. Uh, there's been no candidate that's been identical. And especially right now uh, in Chicago, it's an exciting time. I, I think we have, you know, obviously with the new mayor in the past year, you know, this is that's only in my lifetime, there's only probably been three Chicago <laughs> mayors, maybe four. Uh, so it, it's definitely interesting to see uh, the interactions right now and what's going on between City Council and Mayor Emanuel. Um, th there's a lot of exciting things happening. You know, there's obviously a teacher strike looming, potentially. Um, the Infrastructure Trust, I mean, there, there's really no shortage of issues that are, that are impacting Chicagoans daily. No, there's no question about it. And well, listen, you know what, when I think back to what you said in the beginning that you, you try to tailor things to a candidate's strengths. Mm -hmm. I mean, you look for that sort of thing. That would give an in, that would give each individual um, a very separate campaign based on who yeah. he is. And, and you know what? When you're really going after the strengths that way, I think it rings true with people that that this, this is an, honestly what the person is. I mean, within of course the confines that everybody in politics is making, you know, claims. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's 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 so many different tools to do that. And you know, you can you can have the best social media campaign. You can have the best. Oh, and you guys are really campaign. good at social media. That I gotta yeah, say. Yeah, we we definitely try to to hound in on on different tools that work better than others. But at the end of the day, turnout and and just getting people to the to the um, to vote is actually what wins elections. Um, you know, the, the social media are important factors of that. But the traditional, you know, door to door, a lot of the mail. TV, radio, that stuff still, you know, we feel has the biggest impact in elections, and it, and it has been um, for the past several cycles. There's no question. I think mail is taking an increasing uh, lead role now. It, it is, and it, it's, it's amazing. You know, when we have people come to us that want to, you know, that might be new, you know, they haven't run for office or, or you know, you know, don't have as much experience, they're still amazed that mail still has such a you know such a powerful um, is such a powerful medium well, to I get th that across. I, I think it's because people are using it in better ways. Like when I see those half eight and half eleven pieces, sure, and you don't have to stuff them or anything else, and the address is printed right on it. And I mean, you can make so many amazingly strong points in just a short little thing like that. Absolutely, it, it's still one of the few things that you know when when you get something in the mail, you look at it. You're almost forced to look at it. When you maybe on Facebook or maybe a newspaper ad, um, besides even TV, radio though, it's it's one of the few things that you have to go open your mailbox and if you see something, you know, several times, repetitive nature, you're going to remember that name and name recognition is, is really the game. It really works. Well, we're completely out of time and I've had a great time talking Definitely. to you. I want to thank you very much, Kevin Bartholomew, Abby, pleasure. Vice President thank you. Granger Terry. I appreciate it. I want to thank my entire technical crew, Sonny Hirsch. Oh, people want to contact you. Uh, you can you can actually contact us at uh, GrangerTerry.com. Visit our website. My email is KevinB at GrangerTerry.com. Very cool. We want to show all the luck in the world. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Bye-bye.